Hello. Hi Elki, hi Anjali, hi to all, I am not, I am so sorry, I am not able to see the comments, individual comments, so whoever writes to me in last, I am getting to see it, so it's a hello to all, hola to the people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to the different time zones we are in. Hi, Ellie. Uh, this is usually around, uh, depends on what work you do. So we use the paper which is a quality of 200 to 300 GSM. So, so the GSM is your paper thickness which we use it. So we are talking about it. So we'll just wait for a few minutes for people to join in and, and then we could start in. And this is something what I did last Friday or something which is just to demonstrate to another student who was having challenge when she was doing some work of an artist which this is an inspiration from another artist uh, this is gone I don't usually do these kind of a work this was for me a little out of my comfort zone but since the student was having a challenge and I wanted to demonstrate it so I just did it and it's come out I'm happy with the way it has turned out so So what I just want to say that just do something even if you're not comfortable you can do if you feel it it's possible just practice you will be there or just enjoy the process thank you Nika So she had actually looked at an inspiration from another artist and she was doing it and showed me and she was so i always tell my students when they are i ask them to get comfortable in their zone and then go beyond because once you start doing it or just create what you do and be happy with it don't compare when you compare you feel so that's what one of my posts and if you're new just check one of my posts which has got an abstract form non uh, representational form of zentangle which is an ice cream as a, a string which i have done it and you read the note that will tell you was it gives you a comparison when i did the same thing in 2016 and then the way what i've done in 2020 so 2016 if i look at it right now i would say i'm not happy but i was happy at that moment and continued and that's why i am right now here so just to have the confidence in you you will be able to do it And, and I've learned what it is in Zendangle. Just appreciate it and enjoy the process. You will be happy. Don't compare your results. That's where it is. Maybe understand the technique. So get yourself. Sure. So let's start. So a quick introduction to the uh, tools that I would be using in today. So... Uh, quick is my this is my zentangle tile which is a three and a half inch this is uh, this is the branded tile from the zentangle which is from the USA and uh, this is a three and a half if you don't have this tile good 
you could use another paper card paper or your journal or any normal paper which doesn't have the bleeding it's good quality paper you can even a normal what you take a print out from your printer that paper is also good because we're just going to enjoy the process we are um, right and i'm going to use a pen which is my micron and i'm going to use a little finer pen today with a nib which is a 005 and i will be using a thicker nib also which is 08 and this is a graphite pencil which is entangle and uh, this is a tortillon if you do not have these graphite pencil or zentangle or the tortillon for graphite you can use any normal uh, 2b shading pencil drawing pencil and if you don't have a tortillon fine you need not do the shading you can leave it so you can or you can use an earbud if you have it and if you want to if you do not shade it's okay we're just going to enjoy the process so we're going to use these a set of two tools to create work today and enjoy uh, before we start uh, this is a small note on my copyright that I am certified Zentangle teacher I'm authorized from Zentangle to take Zentangle classes and this sessions are copyright owned by me and solely by me any further use is not allowed and um, you could create what I'm teaching and you can share it with your friends but no further use of commercial use of my sessions or any commercial use of Zentangle by you at your end so we're good so we're good to it so let's quickly quickly take our time so we're going to breathe and then we're going to enjoy the process of no mistakes of Zentangle and we're going to enjoy so let's take a let's calm ourselves because I definitely need it because my mobile suddenly just 10 minutes before the session got didn't switch on so I was like wondering what how am I going to take the class so it's kind of the last minute anxiety was there so I would need it so let's take a joint deep breath so let's normal breathe let's do a normal breathing and once we do the normal breathing we'll do take a count of six deep inhaling and exhaling and as you inhale it inhale all the good thoughts and everything and exhale out whatever you don't want whatever is disturbing you just exhale it out slowly just let it go just let it go so so I'm going to give you a count of it and end of the your six count of deep breath uh, let's do a gratitude at this particular hour and this is going to be my I started last next month April I started my Instagram live session so it's going to be really a one year journey with you all so just give a gratitude that we've been together far away still being connected okay let's take a deep breath and exhale out take another nice deep breath and exhale it take another nice deep breath and exhale it take another nice deep breath with good thoughts and exhale it out Take another nice deep breath with all good thoughts and exhale it out. Let go. Let's inhale again. Enjoy the inhaling and slowly exhale and let go. And thank, thank whomever you want to thank slowly open your eyes so we're good to start so grateful to all of you who have joined in and uh, if people have joined in late we're using a zentangle branded tile and we're going to use a crap pen and a graphite pencil and a tortillon to do the work if you do not have these just whatever supplies you have with you that's good enough for us to continue on it so no worries about it so here we go so I'm just going to teach two patterns today and I actually had promised that 
I would be teaching, uh, we will be working on fragments, but somewhere down then I have gone divided, but we are using the same string. So we are going to do two patterns today. Uh, one pattern is called as hugs. Right? And a second pattern, would have, it's called as tribine. And both are again uh, grid based pattern. So, and this is by uh, Sarah Harrison. And this is something which was done recently as early as Feb 20, 2021. And this is by uh, a certified Zentangle teacher, Laura, Laura Lewis. She's a certified Zentangle teacher. And this is as early as 2015. And she's one of the early, uh, certified Zentangle teacher. We have every session when you get certified, we have a number tag to it. She is number four batch. Uh, currently, there's a batch of 37 going to start. So, so you can imagine how early she is. So this is a pattern which is on 2015. So let's start with hugs. Hugs is a grid based pattern. So I'm just going to do two, only two right now, only two grids. So I'm just going to demonstrate it. You put a center dot and you do a kind of a curved arc, a kind of a curved arc. And ensure that this is going in this direction and then this direction and this direction. It's a cyclic, right? Then what you do, one, the edge of each of these arcs, just take a very little curve just a little hook kind of a curve right and then what we do from here we will do a line going till this it's like an aura we will be doing it right and then I'm going to turn because I'm going to be comfortable when I'm turning again we go Right, and then I mean you can do to turn it. That's what I'm comfortable. Right, and then we are doing again turn, and then we're going to do it. simple repeat of a parallel line which we are drawing it can you see this this is a beautiful one right so we're going to do the same thing again so we will do the same direction and see this this is a clear clear demonstration which helped me because this is a gel pen so you need to let it dry if you don't let it dry and if you move in it kind of spreads so you'll have to be careful when you're using such kind of a pen this is not going to impact us even if it is a practice because that will get hidden when you shade so we're going to do again the same going to turn my paper and I'm going to do it and I'm going to really it's, it's going to strain my hand that's the reason we say that turn your paper or your book when you're doing it it makes easier and you don't stress on your hand so here when it comes it's always on the this side see so you're going to on the opposite direction it this pattern you can use it as a grid 
across like you no know, you want to do a grid and you want to do it you can do that or you can just do only this and like a free floating once you can do that right i'm just going to come and just show it you close so this is what the pattern is So what do, do how do we shade it? So what we I am going to just do a simple shading. I'm just going to do all the junction points, just the junction points, just the junction points, just the junction points. I'm going in it and using my graphite and I'm just going to pull it up. So this is what is the pattern. So this we will be, you know, our, what our string has been for the last three weeks. So we will use this in the center place. So this one, and we will use the next one. This is also a grid pattern, but we're going to just use it as a border today, right? So. So that's okay we're going to ignore this part today but otherwise you can do it for this today I don't, I'm fine with it so this is basically what you draw a small triangle on top just a small triangle on the top and then you draw a center line on it so it's like a V a little flattened V and then this that's it the pattern is and then you ink this and this is going to be three dimensional because you're going to play around by shading so I'm just going to ink it and I'm going to be a little careful because this is a gel pen so it will be so I'm just going to be little I need to be a little careful even then fine even if it, and I'm going to just shade on this part I'm just going to shade on this part one side I'm just going to shade right and if you can see now itself if you can see it it is kind of giving you a three dimensional effect to it you can do a complete a flattened the same color tone of shading or you can bring in shades tones of shades so which is like this so if you have if you have this you can darken it at the edge and just keep lightening it so you can do that also so I have just done a smoothing shading maybe when I'm doing it on the tile I might do this right now you want to give it a little more effect so you just you can just go to the center part of it or this and just give it a little more darkening and then it can gives you a little of a depression of it kind of you know? right so so it's very simple nothing we just used our strokes was just this and i think we can all of us can do this and this we just did it in the box so we did it a proper box and we just did this and this this that's it anyone can do it it's as simple as that but when you look at it you feel oh it's complicated all right so we're good with these patterns so we're going to use a hugs pattern and a tri band now uh, the hugs is going to be at the center and your tri band is going to be on the we are going to use it as a single ribbon one we are going to do that and uh, people who have joined in
I will be doing it while I'm drawing it. You can look at it and follow me. Okay. So we take our tile, the the today's tile, and I'm just taking my last week class tile. What we did from last week because we are continuing the same string. So what we did was so far when we look at it. So we're continuing it. So today we're going to do the last part of it to get our the complete set. Right? And then you can play around. And I've given you ideas which we will again speak at the end of this class. Right? The different ideas. So let's start with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just place. Just going to place this paper and this paper. And I'm just going to mark my lines. And I'm going to just turn. Why am I doing it is that to just to get the same kind of a that they are in the same line. So now I assume you are using a book and in the book you are doing it. So then just you can just keep a bigger one and then try doing it across. So you can just do a three and a half, three and a half, a bigger square, and then you can continue doing that, right? So you're good. So now what I'm gonna, I'm, I thought you, it's easy tool to do it. So what we will draw, we will draw a line following this style, and we're gonna draw again, so that we get that. We don't need to struggle, otherwise you can draw it freehand. I'm comfortable drawing freehand also. But just to demonstrate, I'm using this. So I'm comfortable with this, so I am just doing this. Um, I can do it on freehand because we've got the comfort now to do a freehand drawing. Because anyway in Zentangle we embrace the no mistake. So even if there is something which goes little up and down, we can correct it when we are doing our, when we are ink it up and we are going to, so it's going to, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw four dots. right and I just kept at random four dots and I'm joining the four dots so that's going to form our border so if you see it I've drawn freehand my grid lines I'm not using any references right so we're going to keep the tile away so now we're going to go so since it is my border which I need to thicken it up I'm going to go back into my pen which is a little broader pen because I need my outline to be a little thicker so I'm just going in and outlining my grid And then what we're going to do is we're going to do first these two but then before that I want to draw a grid for my uh, this pattern the center pattern hugs so what we're going to do is I'm just going to I assume and I know that this is going to be my center point so I'm just going to do a rough grid This is going to be the second. So now what I'm going to do is this center is going to be my right, and this the center is going to be right. So 
you will have something which is getting high hidden then you can draw a smaller thing so this is so what we go it's easier because this side you get the full thing so you can just go look at it which is a minute and i'm taking a bigger grids i'm not taking a smaller grids if you notice it i'm taking a little bigger grid and if you see it here i'm getting a little uh, so i'm just going to make this as my final because i feel there's so much so much of space out here so i'm just made that a little change of that thing i've done it right so right so let's do the quickly let's do the the center one and i taught you that for the center one again when we're going to do a grid we will do the corner grid first so we will do the corner grid and then it becomes easier for us to do the I'm using a final line I think for this one I think I could good go ahead with a thicker pen because they will look a little better off because they are very simple because when you use a fine pen your patterns will be little right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark a point here and move it around here and I'm saying that it is going to be the same so marking a point here right now you could do it facing it that direction also you could do it this direction also right now what we're going to do is we're going to ink this place so this is going to completely get inked up i hope you're getting to see it uh, I have a challenge on my mobile which does an autofocus, so it blurs for some time. Hi, Priya. So I just went to check in if some queries are there, if I missed it down. So I'm just going to ink it up. So I'm just going to ink all this. Now, we will not do the shading. We will do the shading in the end. I am just going to outline the this particular thing. I am just going to outline this line. Um, one of the person who had done last week, uh, that was also good. When you're doing it, you can do an aura and leave a white space. So that is also good to do. So now what we'll do is, just to make it, we will do this in the opposite direction. It's just that it's going to look different. It's not, there's no right and wrong. going to do it and if you see it's only a space so I'm just going to draw that line that's it right so 
So now I'm going to ink up all the spaces. want to do it differently you can use this in the center and use the hugs as the in the border kind of for this in the L shape square you can use the hugs pattern out here see it looks different it's just that instead of doing it in the same orientation i did it in the opposite orientation right so when we do the shading it will look good so we're going to just leave this aside and we're just going to do the right so we're just going to leave it and we will come back and look at it when you're going to do the shading. Now we're getting into the the hugs pattern. So so this is my grid. I'm just inking up. I'm going to ink by space, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to mark my center point here. My center point here. And this is going to be my full. So I'm just going to mark my center point here, center point here. Right? And I'm just going to do a little curvy one. So when we say we rotate the tile, our pen remains in the same place it's just that the tile gets smooth right so now what we're going to do is we're going to just do just go in the edge and turn just go at the edge and turn it up right so we're just going to go again here go on the edge and turn go on the edge and turn go on the edge and turn and we're just going to ink this empty space and we're going to do this little turning we're just giving a little on the edge a little small thickness on the edge so now all this I'm able to do it because my pen nib is is fine very thin so this fine ones which when I'm doing it it works now if you see I have done one two three one two three here I have done one two three four so that's fine if you want to continue on being uniform you can do it if you if it is goes extra that's fine give it turning right so look at that our pattern so simple now we're going to do the same thing we're just going to do what I did was I was more comfortable what I did I drew all these across with including this curve and then I started doing it so if you feel that way comfortable you can do it the curved cross I did across and I came back and then I started doing this aura repeated strokes so just see how this repeated strokes 
is so calming so coming it's just to do it just right and all these gets into a beauty when you do this shading right so let's do this now I'm going to be a little more comfortable doing the This is going to be this so we're going to do is a dot of this would be right somewhere here so we assume it's going to be here and we're going to draw it here and we're going to so we assuming it is there right. so we're just going to, I'm just going to continue everywhere drawing these curved X it is a curved X a little curved X or a cross or you can call it as a cross a curved cross is what I'm doing So this is going to be behind this so I'm just going to draw this and I'm going to be having my dots in my ear because I look at it it's going to be here so I'm going to buy this and it's going to be here right and this I'm going to do the center here when you're doing this your mind is going to be so occupied because you're going to do the same thing you're aware of it and you you will be conscious of it so your mind is occupied you no thoughts is going to come to you it's just going to give you some kind of peaceful meditative state right so now this is only a small portion so we're just going to do this edge part and this edge part and again this is going to be curved one and a Oh dear. That's all. So let's now go back and finish it. Let's go by row by row. So here it's going to be like you're just going to draw lines here. That's it not going to go the inch right and here it's going to be just going to curve a curve a curve and a curve and if you notice when you rotate your tile your hand is in the same space it's only the tie and your the other hand moves so it's like comfortable it's like it's coming in and so if you see I've got more grids out here because the space was more out there so that's is fine and 
these gaps is slightly inked so when you ink it up it gives you a different effect so we're just going to go round it up all the spaces and you can do variation in this you can do an alternate one you can darken it up or you can just put small circles in one which is in direction everywhere you do the same thing so you can play around what you want to do embellish on these things we call it as embellish when you want to do something inside it and enhance it you're good to do so those are your uh, your creativity which comes in so most welcome going to do the same thing this is going to do the same thing we don't get bored by doing the same thing because we enjoy the process so that's the thing Because you have something in your mind which is waiting to see how your end result is going to look so that's there in your mind so you want to see what your end surprise result is going to be so we just did so now if you're using a little thicker pen uh, then you can don't do too close lines do a little further lines so that's better because mine is a finer pen so I can do a little closer line is fine but if you're doing it with a little thicker nib what we mean by fatter is your nib is little fatter then do don't do too close lines Even if your lines are going to be a little wonky, that's fine. That's your creativity. That's your style. That's your uniqueness. So don't worry about it. That's fine. So it's going to be a little wonky. And that's going to look different. That's it. So as I said, this pattern is at the earliest which is just in Feb 2021 created and the other pattern which we've used it here was created by a Zentangle certified teacher who got certified in the batch 4 which is very early batch, one of the older batch, right. So, so we, today I'm not kind of no synced it up, I've done little different too one which gives you a little three dimension effect and one which is this way so see how it's going to be I'm just in the corner I'm just thickening it up if you feel too comfortable to do it do it if not just ignore it off don't do it so if you see that I was talking to people and I forgot to put the first stroke of that curved one so it 
just noticed in time when I was completing it here that I've not done that so that's why we say that when Zendangle you do it you are concentrating you need to because that really helps you hi Sharon Tangle, keyword. Sharon is a person who is recently certified to Zendangle teacher. So let's congratulate her. So we're just going to do. So if you can see it, I'm just going to come in a little closer to show it how it is looking. Right. So let's finish the tile where we. So when you're doing something and you just pause it off, just when you come back and do it, just pause and see where you are and then continue. good we would be little going out of our time again today let's see very little because I took a bigger grid today so I'm not taking a very close grid today so because I knew this will take time and these things when you do it with slowly and calm and you will really enjoy it more because each strokes you enjoy and do it that's where the fun is You can just go bring it down if you want to know the trick is also this way that you go up and you bring it down just go up and bring it down and then ink that space right if you're getting this this trick helps you because I, I just struck that I can, can give you this trick. Right. So I'm just going to ink all these small spaces. So then we have left with let's finish this particular place so it's going to be this angle this and this right and we're just going to go finish right. and you've left this space also let's finish this also we've left it incomplete so let's finish it we know that right. and this is also 
let's finish it off. So we worked on two patterns today, one pattern out here and one pattern out here. I'm having a kids workshop this week so one of the kids said I asked them what did how did he enjoy it because today was our this third session second session so he said you answered my question saying that you can do what you want that's what your variation lets us do it so I'm going to enjoy because you're not going to tell me that I need to follow a set going to let my creativity be used so it's saying that freedom is what makes me more happy and believe it or not that not that I am gender biased it was a boy who said that and he must be what a 12 year old so it's it's more than just drawing it's beyond it just gives you the happiness it gives you happiness quotient so left with two more So we just yeah. My boy has come to say your class is going to get over. He's come to give his attendance. <laughs> That's my buggy boy. I don't know how he senses that it's going to be nine o'clock and This pattern has been there. I've been wanting to do it from the time it got published. Uh, something or the other. So, in fact, today I hadn't decided what I would be doing. Because I had some other thing. 
so I think it's in the evening I had decided okay let's play and I just played around just before the session It's very simple and and I think I've missed out out here uh, no we have not right so now what we're going to do is I'm just going to mark and I'm going to shade it out here I'm going to shade it out here and I'm going to shade it out here and I'm going to shade it out here and I'm just going to shade it out here more and then I'm going to shade very light very light with my graphite pencil just light right? I'm just going to use my stub out here and I'm just going to smoothen it up here so can you see that difference which is going to happen so you see that's between these two there's a difference happening out here now you want a little more you can just give it a little more just want a little darken it up a little more there just the edge you can do that just on the edge a little out there i just put the graphite just to give that effect out here now we will do the same thing out here we'll do the same thing out here just darken it a little out here darken it a little out here darken it out a little here and see these also is a repeated stroke which is kind of really soothing and you no know, really, really calming yourself we are not putting any pressure and and i told you that these patterns what i've chosen are so easy to draw so i'm just using my stub and if you have a earbud you can just do it or if you don't have an earbud also you can just use it with your pencil and then go ahead and do it right so just simple just simple how the simple just very simple you want a little more darkening out here just go ahead and do it how comfortable are you so you can do it right? right now what we will do is now we oh yeah are uh, great so that's what happens when you sometimes when you go back so it's okay so we just i just realized that i have not done the it's okay I usually do a check before I start my shading that's why so now what we're going to do is we're just going to darken it up here we're just going to darken up all the corners edges alone we're going to darken it up just the edges where you have the the, the curved cross I said and I'm just going to pull my graphite a little I'm not going to pull it till the edge so can you see that can you see a folded one 
and if I need it I just go around the corner and I can just give a little a graphite out there and and I can just pull it up a little of it right so I'm just going to show you a finished one with a different paper right so We'll anyways keep everything and enjoy so I'm just going to pull everywhere the graphite and then I'll come and use my stub and then do it so now I'm just going to pull my graphite very little graphite in every junction of mine I'm just going to put it every little place I'm going to do it so it's easy so I'm just going to do the repeat stroke of it so so I don't need to take my pencils stops alternatively so I do this first and then I can take the stops and then do it so it's one And when you're doing this process of when you're trying to put your graphite and your you're trying to pull it with your stub, your and your excitement will go because you want to see how your end result is going to be so, and see how the magic works. That's the fun of Zentangle. I use whatever graphite I had with my hand I just used it that particular place it was enough for me so can you see how the shading is kind of bringing in life to your work you can do the same thing with without a pencil also you can just do with a a pen you can do, use your pen strokes also and then do it if you see you're not very comfy on your pencil strokes and you can use your pen strokes and you can do it I'm just just pulling it up a little So I have classes which talks on last week one of the student designed it for the student it's only giving how shading and you can give see right now we'll give a little more effect to our work I'm just going to go outside this going to go outside this particular thing I'm just going to go beyond this and just outside both on the side and the side I'm just going to go up and down I'm just going to go a little and put my graphite why am I doing this just to give a layered effect that up and down see that this is going down and this is coming up why am I not using my Zentangle currently our import from US is it's a little challenge because for us it when it comes in and we have so if I start using the number of classes I so I we end up using a normal graphite pencil because it's very expensive part because I need to give it for students so I give preference to my students right so 
so I just want to do a little more on it so I just want to give a little buttoned up effect so I'm just going to go shade on the edges of the inner edges I'm not going to do the outer edges I'm just going to go do the inner edges you want to do it you can do it if you don't want to do it you can just leave it that's fine there's no fast and this is just that I am doing it right so I just said we will take few minutes after and the most important thing what we do after all this thing so we just go and put our signature and own it up and appreciate ourselves we never end up appreciating ourselves so right so how did you guys all enjoy it this month's session has been on a string which we used which is a common string for the week month and so I'm just going to move my I'm move my little higher so that you can get to see it hope you get to see it This will get saved on my IGTV. Hope I don't have any hitches. And it will be there in your, my YouTube. If you have anyone known who wants to look at it, it will be there in my YouTube channel also. So now that, now I'm going to change. And I'm going to change and you're going to get it different. So in any direction where I want to do it, I can just do it. I can just keep it. play around with keeping it here I mean I feel these two are too dark and I just want to put it out here and then I want to put it out here I can put it out here right and I can keep another small style out here uh, that's something very special uh, it's another small one which is I've done it out here maybe if you don't do it you can just leave it you can do another one and keep it in the center and stick it you can have a photo on it you can just play around let's look at mingling it with the uh, the other tan tile which we i created it on my practice so let's take the pair of them so you can put it out here to tap and then play around that's the fun of it hope you all enjoyed it do leave your comment on my IGTV saved IGTV how you like the session for this month and let's meet up again next week thank you gracias and uh, Buena Vista for the people from the Spain and the other side. So thank you for joining and I'm grateful for it, for all of you to join. So this month I end my one year. So thank you. I'm grateful to all of you for joining the session this month. And, and I continue to the next month we will be doing it so let's see what we can do and if you want to do any of my uh, paid classes they are there on my feed or they will be there on my stories you want to attend the business class or advanced classes for different techniques just message me we can schedule and plan so so currently I'm doing in the morning now kids class it's for the kids 
age group of less than 12 years so so do join the next week sessions and let's see what we do next month thank you all for joining in ciao see you good night for the people from the india and i think good evening good evening and good afternoon good evening to the people in the spain good morning to the people in the us and good afternoon from the people from the uk if they have joined in thank you do like my post of the sessions and leave your comment that's what motivate us so thank you unless if anyone wants to ask something thanks maria for joining in yes thank you liver thanks gracious a year back i knew just hola i proceeded earning learning few words in spain so thanks to all of you much gracious okay if you like me i'll end up talking with you people so bye see you all thanks for joining us